Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ashur Gupta and I'm here with a new video with a new question and its rationalization. This question is special in its own sense as I will be teaching you a new trick uh, where you do a step by step process where this question will be having a two paths to solve. Okay, I request you to pause up this video for one minute on the next screen and choose your own right answer then we'll solve it. Okay, so this question states, it is a 26 year old male, which is a young guy, okay. The second thing, it has an anterior knee plane, okay, when on the knee flexion. Also, MRI has a revealed ligament injury. Which ligament? Oh, uh, that's the first step of the question. You, they want you to finalize, okay, which is the right ligament which has been affected okay it can be acl it's anterior cruciate ligament it can be pcl posterior cruciate ligament it can be mcl medial collateral ligament or lateral collateral ligament that is lcl okay out of these four one has to be the one that's a main, main these are the usual major ligaments involved in the knee in any injuries okay so uh, it, this ligament starts for the uh, from the anterior intercondylar fossa on the tibia and runs uh, towards the femur means like upwards and uh, attaches to the medial aspect of the lateral condyle lateral condyle means it has to run outside okay let's say this is the tibia and it starts from here it has to run outside like this towards the lateral condyle and it attaches to the medial surface medial surface of the lateral condyle right so it is like this yes if you remember the biomechanics you would be directly reaching to the conclusion of anterior cruciate ligament Yes, that's the right answer. Okay, so I have a first part solved out. If you know a little basic biomechanics uh, of the joint, you would be able to find it out which ligament it is. Now, next is mechanism of injury. If you remember which one is that, do not run on to the conclusion towards many of these answers because they will confuse you. Even though you know the right answer, you need to wait and exclude them. Okay, let's start with the first one. It is the patient is decelerating and the uh, knee is in a hyperextension as well as there is a rotational forces also the patient is not in a contact injury it is a non-contact injury that's the first option the second one option is it's a direct blow onto the anterior knee causing the posterior displacement of the tibia I can exclude this option straightforward yes when there is like an anterior blow on the knee it will go behind and it will break off which ligament it will break off posterior cruciate ligament which stops the posterior displacement of tibia on a femur yes that's not at all a right answer let's take it off okay then the third one yes this is a confusing option given to you especially to confuse you the patient has a hyperextension hyperflexion hyperextension hyperflexion rotation as well as a varum and welgum injury so is this the mechanism of injury for acl okay let's find out hyperextension hyperflexion acl pcl uh, varum valgum it's more about lcl mcl so this will not give you only acl injury this will give you a combination of a ligament injury so multiple ligaments will be involved if this is a mechanism of injury of the patient Okay, and the last one we go. So we have an option one standing and then two down. So last one is the rotation and the compressive forces. Yes, my dear friend, whenever you talk about the compressive forces and the rotational forces straightforward, I can conclude it towards a mechanic, uh, mechanism of injury of meniscus. Yes, if you do not still remember, let me recall the Apple's grinding test. Yes, we put a grind compressive force and then rotate if you internally rotate the tibia right there's a meniscus which is torn will give you external rotation will also give you a positive answer so again the fourth is not a right answer so now step one acl step two yes the right mechanism of injury and that is deceleration hyperextension and rotation of knee in a non-contact injury is a right answer that's answer a take care